that was awesome. Welcome back to my Tuesday Backstories. I want to thank you guys for continuing to watch. I know some of you guys went back and watched some of the ones in the beginning to kind of get the full story. So this week, we're going to talk about what happened to me after high school. So after I graduated, what kind of paths I tried to take or explored or trying to find my path, so to speak. And then what happened musically, which was a big move for me from my hometown. So hope you guys enjoy it. So after high school, I continued working for dad, playing in bands. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I was thinking about school. I was kind of like, well, I hated high school, so I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Maybe I'm just gonna work, whatever. I went and checked out a technical school, which seemed cool, but it didn't seem super practical because I had to pay for it. And there was nothing that I was super interested in. This actually sounded, and could have been, looking back, probably a very cool career. The program was to teach people how to run, operate, and maintain robots. And these robots actually worked underwater, did things like survey underwater pipelines, oil pipelines, stuff like that. I would have loved that. I love engineering, technology, and that kind of stuff, but it seemed like a lot. I want to say the program was 20, 30,000. Of course, I'm like, well, how the heck am I going to come up with that? Not really seeing much hope in being able to do that. I didn't pursue that one. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just give my shot at music, right? So there was a pretty well-known school that I've heard about through the music business called McLennan Community College in Waco, and they've got a really good music program. So I went there, and my experience there was great. Not sounding prideful or anything, but my grades were really good. I enjoyed it. I was somewhat top of my class. Now, granted, though, I didn't take any basics. I was only taking music courses, and I was going after a certificate, which basically is... Same thing as an associate's, except it does not have all the, the general education courses. Because, of course, I don't want to take English and math and all that kind of junk because I hated high school, right? Also, within the music business, uh, a degree doesn't do you a ton of good unless, you know, you're going to be a teacher or something like that that requires a degree. Experience and talent exposure does way more for you than a degree does. So, I went for about a year. I uh, had a good time. The other cool thing was I got to take lessons. That was actually one of my classes to take lessons it was once a week, maybe twice a week, from a really good drum instructor there. Kuntz, K-U-N-T-Z, was his last name. And what was so cool about that is the cost of my lessons were cheap because I basically paid for a semester, and it's just like regular semester course, so maybe I paid two or 300 bucks for a semester of lessons, so that was awesome. So that was my extent with college at that point. You know, I did, went for about a year. So then I started picking up playing with my brother, T.C. Taylor. He was living in San Antonio, so I was traveling back and forth quite a bit. Played several shows. I got to play some of the coolest shows. So hey, thank you for watching this week's version of my backstory. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please comment below. Ask me anything. And share if you've had a similar story. You know somebody who's had a similar story. You guys know the drill now. Be sure to tune in next week because I'll talk about something that was very pivotal in my life and still affects me today. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So, paka cow. And also, as always, like, share, subscribe! Check you guys later. Jeremy Drummer, out!